Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In this video I'll be showing you exactly how to optimize your game, which is actually using a trick that I just learned today actually. So let's get right into the video. So you're going to need Roblox Studio open as, you know, obviously. Um, you can see that I have mine open here. And basically what's going to happen is you're just going to, you know, create a new script. So let's just create a new script. I'm going to call it Optimizer. And then if we go into that script, we're going to get rid of Hello World. And then we're just going to type in these three lines. So here we go. Uh, the first line goes like this. And this might become very obvious to some of you of what we're doing. Um, but that's the final line. And then we can go to the next line and type in this. And finally, we actually have to break. Now, this may be a little bit confusing. But just take my word on it, and let's do this. So there we go. And if we were to go and run our game, as you can see, I'm not actually in a tutorial place like I usually am, or like the Sandbox Tycoon game. I'm actually in a game that I've been working on. So let's just go ahead and hit play. It was actually really laggy before, so now we're going to test and see if it makes it more fun. and Or not more fun, but less laggy. And as you can see, it actually does. So if I were to move around here, uh, there is no lag. If I were to click on a UI, then and close it again, there's no lag there. If I were to go and you know, basically start playing the game, there is no issues. So anyway, if you did enjoy this video and hopefully it helped, give it a like. Make sure you hit subscribe and like the video. And yeah, that's basically that. And I'll see you in the next video.